I started drawing at a young age. I wound up going to DSA for visual art. I thought I wanted to further my art career, but then I was like, nah, I don't wanna do that. But then I got into cakes on accident. My sister and I, um, we started a business together, Cake Making Divas. She wanted a custom cake and we sought out a person to do it. And we thought this one was just charging us overpriced. Like, it's no way a cake can cost this much, right? Like, it's a cake. So we was like, why don't we try to do it ourselves? Got the materials, did the labor, and I figured she undercharged. So the amount of stuff that you have to go through with making a cake, baking it, planning it, even like gas that like goes all into it, you know, it gets really expensive. But like, through all of that, it was amazing just doing it. We messed up a lot. The case came out very hard. Um, very stale, but it was fun. So I was like, okay, I want to like perfect this and like take this far as I can go with it. It's pretty much the same thing as art to me. It was just like, I can eat it. That's the only difference. I find my inspiration mostly from things in nature, mostly just natural colors and things just, just naturally just coming together. Like even when I make my flowers or my leaves or anything, I'm coming out like an icing bag, I just mix the colors in there. I don't even really look, so I was like, exactly what I'm putting in what order, I just put them in there and whatever color comes out, just the natural order. Everything's custom from the beginning to the end. Everything's custom. So I usually try to tell people instead of like looking up a cake, give me like give me an essence of what you're looking for just in the cake or what's the party about or what kind of mood are you trying to set or something like that. So I can really like personalize the cake for that person. I like my outside of my cake to get just like a little bit dark. Just like the outside cakes get a little bit dark because that brown comes through with any other frosting that you have. Usually, I've seen people done it with like, you know, they make it lighter and stuff like that. But me personally, I like darker hues when I make like Nikki cakes. So just getting that darkness around it, not burnt, <laughs> but getting that darkness around it, it just shines through. It, it just becomes a part of the whole outside of the cake. And you're, ice and smooth, smooth frosting. The main thing I'm focused on is balance. Balance is the, the full circle of it all, just balance. Um, that's come from the construction of the cake, the colors of the cake, and where I place things on the cake, everything is just balanced. So I'm just looking for, as I'm going, not just the end result of balance, but as I'm going, is it balanced, balance, even, balance, everything just going up to balance. I would say, the most important thing about baking to me is making sure you watch your flour, your baking soda, and your baking powder. A lot of people say that cooking, you can like, you really get in there, you can make mistakes, you can like fix it really fast, but they say with baking you can't, but I think it's the same thing. As long as you watch those three things, you can do whatever you wanna do after that. Like it's purely like your own creativity at that point.